the mic. So today I'm going to be doing a micro lock retie, an update, and I'm going to be sharing some tips about what exactly is going on with the ends of my locks. As you can see, they look pretty sealed. I want to kind of talk about why. But first, I'm going to get into this perimeter retie. That's what I'm doing today. I'm not doing the whole head because I uh, simply just did that like four weeks ago. Can y'all hear me now? Gosh. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mrs. L Louise. Is that Mrs. Louise? Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. I had no clue. I was not. <laughs> no audio. That is so embarrassing. Okay. Because I had no audio, I have to do this all again because y'all didn't know nothing about what I was talking about. Oh, my gosh. Can y'all hear me now? Diamond Doll, can you hear me? Somebody in the chat, please, before I go on anymore, <laughs> somebody, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm tracking. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me know because I would have been talking this whole time. And for what? Uh, <laughs> embarrassing. Okay, so let me go back to what I was originally <laughs> saying. <laughs> okay, so today is going to be a micro lock update. So it's been 20 months. 20 months, 21 months of me having my micro locks. So good news there. I'm going to also do like a little perimeter retie that I'm going to do live. So if y'all have any questions, y'all, please go ahead. Ask me in the comments. Super chats are welcome as I put in the pinned comments because it's hard out here creating content. And also I'm going to be talking about how I kind of secure my ends of my micro locks and how they kind of look sealed fast. A lot of people are like, oh, your locks locked up so fast. And I kind of want to share what exactly I've been doing. And it's kind of been working for me. But first, let's go ahead and start with the retie. And what I was saying before I was not um, actually recording the audio was I just am going to go ahead and uh, secure some of these hairs around the perimeter. It's been about mm, four to five weeks since my last retie and I've washed my hair quite a few times since there since that time so what that means for me is that the lock is kind of loose at the base and if I go personally long enough washing my hair over and over and over without kind of freshening up the edges the lock to me doesn't feel very strong so I just kind of go 
and do a perimeter uh, retie or sometimes I just twist the hairs like this but they do unravel so it's kind of pointless if I have enough hair to go ahead and do a quick retie around the perimeter that's what I like to do to keep it looking fresh so that is what I'm doing now Oh, let me see. Let me see what these comments are saying. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for letting me know y'all could not hear me. I'm going to pull you guys up like I did last time. Let me add to the broadcast. Let me edit. Make this a little bigger. Diamond Doll says, it's crazy because you were just retying again. I was at the last live when you were retying your locks. Gosh, three weeks went by so fast. Where did March go? I know, right? It's because I was retying my hair uh, in preparation for March. And now we're already almost done with March. Yeah. I'm with you. Where did the time go? So I'm going to have to look in this mirror here. Cause I don't want no repeats of what we had last time. <laughs> so I'm going to look in my mirror and y'all ask away. If y'all have any questions, I'm only going to really pay attention to the locks that need to be retied that are extremely loose. And Honestly, that's probably a good bit of my locks already. I asked myself the same thing. Where did the time go? I do feel like I was just sitting here with you all not long ago doing this. And here I am again. <laughs> here I am. But it must be done. Can y'all imagine if I had a loctician right about now? I would have already probably, if I didn't know how to do this myself, would have probably went back and been like, can you, um... Freshen me up around the edge. So this is one benefit to knowing how to do this yourself is you don't have to go to somebody. And even if you're just doing the perimeter, y'all, this can make a big difference, in my opinion. This keeps you looking fresh for way longer in between those reties. Let me see. Not too shabby. And this also goes by pretty fast, y'all. You don't have to like have it crispy or anything. This is not the big retie. You just want to do this to kind of keep you looking, looking however it is you want to look. I'm not going to say looking good or bad because I don't think it even looks bad right now. I just prefer the hair to not be loose like this. Let me see. We got someone here. How do you fix the holes if if you do have if you do have any? Are you saying if I have any? I don't honestly, I don't think I have any holes, but if I do have any holes, I have not noticed the holes as of yet. Um one one of my kind of approaches to my lock journey has been I don't really um I don't necessarily want to even do all of that. I'm just being honest. I don't want to do all of that. If I find a hole, I'm probably going to leave it alone unless it's really big and I feel like it's making my lock weak. I might hop on YouTube University and try to figure it out. But I've honestly never fixed any holes or anything because I just haven't seen any. I guess that's a good thing. And a lot of people do say that the holes fix themselves, but I don't know. It's been my experience that I just haven't had to worry about them, which I'm grateful for. Let's see, let me adjust this because last time I messed it up so bad. All right, there we go. But I do get asked that question a lot. What about the holes? I know a lot of people have that happen. I'm just twist, twist, twist. Not too shabby there. And bloop. One, two, three, and four. So this lock here is actually one of my thicker locks. 
Um, this is definitely not going to be able to get a full rotation in there. So what I'm going to do is what I usually do with this lock. I like to spray it. And I just like to kind of twist the hairs back in. Now, one thing I did want to talk about is I remember um, in one of my videos, I was kind of doing like a micro lock refresh type of a video, how I do this right here, but I was doing it with a lot more of my hair. And a lot of people have their own opinions about, oh, this might be extra work or it's unnecessary. My opinion is do whatever it is you like and want to do with your hair on your lock journey. But this is just how I maintain my micro locks. It's not necessary for everyone. It's probably not necessary for anyone, but this is what I like to do. So I'm going to keep doing it. I've been doing it this whole time. I'm going to keep doing it until I don't want to do it no more. That looks nice, nice, nice. All right, so I just keep twisting this one. This one is not going to be able to get interlocked because the hair hasn't grown enough. It's usually with the smaller locks. So I'm just tucking that back. This process is so simple and easy. I really don't even need my comb, but this is what type of uh, frizziness and everything I have after many different washes. This is what most of my locks look like. And like I said, you really don't have to pay too much attention to the parting because you're just kind of refreshing the perimeter. Give yourself a little spray. This one ain't even bad. I'll just twist that. And I don't know if I can even get a retie out of that one. It feels like it. No, nah, I'm leaving that alone. Some of them, you just need to leave them alone. Twist it up and keep it moving. Here's another one. Don't need a retie, but this is why I said what I said. Now, a lot of people like to do locksmithing to fix this, but I'm not doing that. I just take the hair and I just twist it right back. Twist it right back up. And... Now the frizz is not there. That's what, oh, there it is. Now it's not frizzy at that part. And then I just tuck it. I really do feel like you do what works for you on your lock journey, but this is what works for me. And I'm almost already done with the perimeter. Now, I know for a fact that these locks at the top are loose because I was messing with them earlier. I was like, yeah, they need to get retied again. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. So it's been three weeks since my last retie. Y'all see me do a live, and that's a good gap. I could probably stick my pinky in there, as you can see. My thumb goes through. So that's how I know it's pretty loose. And that's the type of lock that I want to go in and retie. And of course, all of your hair grows at different speeds. So that's why some of my locks I'm retying and some of them I'm not. They all don't grow at the same rate. When Even when I do a retie, when I'm doing my whole head, some of them have a lot more space than others for me to retie. Okay. 
we got one, two, three, and four. Boom. And I'm just going to take the hair after because sometimes when you retie your hair, um, it just, the hairs that you wrapped around it, they don't even be <laughs> wrapped around it no more after you retie it because of the friction. So if I want it to kind of have a neater look, I just kind of go back, do it again. And as you can see, that kind of makes it less frizzy and less fr flyaways at the base. Uh oh, my dog is howling. So at this point, I usually have to split my head because now I did this side, but I want to make sure that if I do this lock here, this is my middle part. I wouldn't want it to fall this way because that would mess up the way I usually have my hair fall because that would be weird. So I like to make sure to split my hair, see where my middle part is and then I know this lock here needs to go this way this one will go that way so I gotta keep that in mind this one's not too bad actually but we do not want it to fall the wrong way because then it just looks weird the rest of them will be falling one way and this one wouldn't now one thing I'll probably do for the next couple of weeks is wear my hair in like a pulled back kind of style because you really won't be able to tell in this part here that my hair is not freshly retied. And you can, even if you really want to, you can retie that part, but I don't want to do that. I just want to just do the edges. That's going to be it for me. All right, so we have already freshened up this side. So when I pull it back, it already is not nowhere near as frizzy as it was when we started. So if I pull my hair back, which I will do like a lot of half up, half down styles in the next four weeks, we're gonna look good. So I'm gonna put this away. And then, this is my other side here. And it's not too bad, actually. But we still gonna do a little something something. We are gonna do a little something something here. I wanna make sure that y'all can see me. So I have to turn this way. Maybe I have to angle my camera. So I never work on dry hair. We don't want to do that. So let's spray. Here's what we got. Not too bad, but it's loose. See, you can stick my thumb through it. And that to me is not going to be good over time. If I go another four weeks like that, then my lock might become weak and I don't want my lock hanging on by a thread. So we're going to twist that up and we're going to interlock this too. Make sure my mic is not in the way. So there's one. Two. Uh oh, are we stuck? Three and four. I'm going to twist this back up. Boom. 
pinned that. We really just want to look and see where is it like pretty loose at these hairs right here is another example of what I mean. Let's secure these hairs back into the lock. A little spray. And whenever I am washing my hair, I can be kind of, I don't know, I guess I'm just not gentle whenever I'm washing my locks because I want to make sure that my scalp is really clean. Um, so I'm not scared to really get in there and scrub. So this is just what happens. But it's okay. I can fix it. Now, I might not even be able to get a rotation out of this one. Yeah, I don't even want to risk that, to be honest. Let's just pin that back. You don't want to over retie certain areas because I that area right there felt like an area that it could become weak. Here's another area here. Doesn't really feel like I must retie it. It's not loose enough. And that actually works, y'all, for my edges. Most of my locks are thicker, and that's why I have them thicker. I used to get a lot of slippage in that area, but not no more. This lock, let's see, should we do it? Here's another thicker lock. I don't think I want to mess with this one either. So let's just twist the loose hairs back into each other. And doing this, y'all, it really just keeps my hair looking really fresh for so long. People will have no clue. Because you can just do, like, I just watch a movie and I can do this. I don't need a mirror or anything. It keeps everything looking real nice. Okay, like I said at the top, that's where I have a lot of looser locks. And we're back up near the top again. That's probably because I'm rough. It's okay. We're going to interlock this one because it's kind of loose. So, one, two, three. And four. Like I said, I'm going to go back, retwist that hair up because every time that I interlock my hair, it always comes out. And you can also crochet the loose hairs into the lock, also. Um, it's just not how I prefer to do my maintenance, but I have seen a lot of people have success with that method but I actually like the frizz <laughs> so that kind of goes against how my hair would be frizzy if I just did that throughout the whole thing so it's really what are you going for you could locksmith it frizz we're gonna fix it Hey, Teresa. Hi. Teresa is always so supportive whenever I'm live or even when I'm not live, it could be a regular video. I absolutely appreciate you. So I'm twisting this into the lock. I don't think that one needed to be retied, y'all. That's why I just twisted it. And 
We got one here. This one ain't even loose. I really didn't even have to touch up that many, which is surprising. Okay, so we're just twisting this one up and then we're gonna take this down. Let's look at that. Yeah. So that looks a lot neater than even when we started. We didn't even have to do too much. So we're going to leave this alone. So this is what we look like after. <laughs> Has it been three weeks? Has it been three or four weeks? I don't know. Since the last retie, this is what my parting and everything is looking like. This is about how much my hair has grown since that last live when I was on here with y'all showing you my locks in retying. So that's not bad. That's why I just did the edges, y'all, because look, if we do, <laughs> I'm not doing a style video right now, but let's just say I was doing like a quick style. This is how easy it's going to be. Because now I'm looking real clean on the edges. Take me a little uh, scrunchy, right? Now that I did that perimeter, this is this is going to be my cheat code for the rest of the month, probably until that next retie. This is how I be stretching them out. Y'all seen it? This is it. The hair is secure. And then I'll just walk around like this and I don't have to do much. You see, about 20 minutes just freshening that up, that gave me another month of just, we're looking good. <laughs> Teresa, what you say? Lady, you be working that hair, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to give them the cheat code, Teresa. I'm trying to give them the cheat code so they don't have to be in the hair all the time. Because I've washed my hair no lie, probably like, since that retie, I probably washed it like twice a week because I've been in the gym and this is how I keep it fresh. Real easy, real. Well, I haven't did this actually since that retie that we did live. So this is how I do it. So now we are done with the perimeter retie. So let's get into the next part of the video, which is this is about to be my favorite part, but we're going to have to kind of uh we're gonna be off the dome because i don't have any notes so this is going to be the 20 what month are we on and let me get my mic this is going to be my 21 month lock update y'all i have changes and i'm excited to do this live because i've never done a lock update live but if y'all have any comments or anything like that it will be included in uh on the original channel when I, you know, go back and edit this. So it's going to be real fun. So please, if you have questions, ask them live. So let's start with length. Obviously, um, y'all, can we see, like everybody can see that my hair has got really long. I think I haven't done one. I did like a lock update since month 19 or so. And I was actually off whenever I did my last lock update. I was off by a month and somebody in the comments was like, oh, I think you're off. Um, it says that your lock anniversary will be sometime in July or something. I was a whole month off because I asked chat GPT and chat GPT gave me the wrong. <laughs> it gave me the wrong amount of time that I actually been on my lock journey. Surprise, surprise. But yes, I am 21 months in several days so we're almost on month 22 length has been one of the biggest changes in fullness if you go back look at my lock journey um when i first started my locks just i gotta take it down now i gotta take it down to really talk about what i'm talking about it was not this full it was kind of like stringy if i had to describe my locks originally when i first started they were more stringy they looked a lot more thin. They were not this thick. Um, they, over time, got so full and thick. These locks in the front specifically, um, I tried to make them as small as I could. 
I'm glad I couldn't make them any smaller because I would have instant regret right now <laughs> in my lock journey because retying all of these locks, I just never thought it was going to be so time consuming and so demanding. I wanted 500 locks at first, thought that was what I wanted, maybe even a thousand. I used to see the videos, see the pictures and said, that's what I want. Now I'm just so glad that I don't have 500. I don't even think I have 300 locks, y'all. I need to do a video where I actually count to see how many I have, but I don't even think, I don't even think I have three. I think I have like 270-ish because people ask me all the time. I have no clue because I actually combined some locks. So let's talk about that too. I combined a lock for sure back here. I had two locks. As you can see, I haven't even interlocked them yet. I can stick my finger through it right now because <laughs> I'm waiting on it to grow out before I like go in and interlock it at the root. But this lock is where my alopecia is. The lock was, the lock as it matured, I noticed it was just not as full. For example, I have alopecia on both sides. This lock here, as you can see, what maybe you can't see i have a lock here where i have another alopecia spot it's way thicker than this lock even 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 though i just combined them so it was even thinner before i combined these two locks together so i said well i don't want the lock to just fall out because all of my other locks are maturing and becoming so full and thick and that those two locks back there were just so thin i went ahead and combined them so this is one and it kind of has like a split in it because it keeps separating actually let's fix that on camera so yeah this is a this is one of my ones i've been working and trying to baby it into locking up and it actually just got combined the last time that i did this live retie with uh the live retie session i just did with you all like four weeks ago so this is a newer lock we're gonna monitor it and i'm sure it's gonna lock up in no time and also i made some of the locks on the edges of my hair um combined too i'm gonna show what i mean these here's one this was actually two locks but I didn't want my hair to start thinning and the lock to be too like weak. So I was like, oh, I'll just combine that lock with another lock. And cause it was also very stringy. And as you can see, it's still not even that big. So I'm not mad about combining it because I want my edges to grow in fuller. So, I mean, I just had to combine some locks. This is another one. This is a bigger lock, but it's not too big. This lock here is another one I combined because I was tired of it unraveling a long time ago. But as you can see, this is a thick lock now. I didn't even know it was going to get thick like this, but it did. So <laughs> around the perimeter, that's where you're going to catch some of them thicker locks. And then I have like these smaller locks here at the top, which may even start off a little bit smaller, but then they're actually kind of thick towards the end. I don't know. And then I got like a little small one here. Again, same thing. It gets thicker towards my ends. And I'm okay with that. So I have around the perimeter all different sizes of locks. And that's actually throughout my whole head when I think about it. It's not just in the perimeter. I didn't have a grid or anything when I um, did my locks. I just twisted the amount of hair I was comfortable with in my hand. And that's how I have the size locks I have. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is build up. Okay. I noticed <laughs> recently I do have, and it was this same lock. I had some build up in this lock. I don't know if I can show it. I don't know if y'all can see it even. When I twisted it up, the, uh, the build up actually kind of, I guess merged into the other lock. So now you can't even see it, but I had build up in this lock specifically. I had build up in one of my front locks. I want to say, is it this one? It might be this one. So I have like a little build up. It looks like it might be lint or something. And I don't want to pick at it because 
it can make your lock thin over time. I thought about, should I dye it? Should I just pick it out? But I'm scared because what if I don't get it out? And then I just made the, the lock weak. So I just been leaving it alone. There's just like onesies and twosies really. As far as buildup goes, I haven't really seen much, but I have noticed lock on the side and the one in the back. And I think that's because of my, my scarf or something, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm not sure how it got there because <laughs> I wear my bonnet. I don't use products in my hair and any products I do put in my hair, they seem to be out of my hair within about a week of me putting them in maybe four days. So I'm not really sure where the buildup came from or if it's lint because it looks like lint, but I wear my bonnet. It still got me y'all. I still got got. <laughs> so I just think I was just going to have it. And that's that. Another thing I want to talk about is my gray hairs. Um, I started my lock journey. Don't think I had a gray hair up here. I have two gray hairs. Oh my, can y'all see that? Oh, yep. Yeah. I have two gray hairs right there now. Do I plan on dyeing it? No. I actually hope that it's like a, a streak of gray that grows in. I think that would be so cool if I just have like one gray lock or like three that I can just... You know, it would look cool without having to dye it. So I'm keeping that. Uh, what else? Oh, unraveling. It, that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, we're 21 months in now, y'all. Unraveling, thing of the past. I used to talk about it all the time. Uh, in the very beginning of my lock journey, I used to hate all of the unraveling locks. Uh, usually after a wash day is when it would be very bad. Now I can wash as much as I want. I could wash my hair probably three times a week and my hair is not unraveling. Now, what will happen is what I showed you guys just a minute ago with my hair not being as fresh on the perimeters, but you see how I fix it. I can make it look like a fresh retie pretty fast. So washing my hair is not something that's going to, um, to stop anything around here as far as keeping my hair looking fresh. So, um, also my wash schedule, I still wash my hair probably like twice a week, twice a week, maybe sometimes three times a week. If it's, if it's stank stank, I'm still going to wash it. That is the, the luxury of having your hair locked is you can wash it as much as you want and it's not going to unravel. You don't have to even think about it. Do it real quick. Get out, get you a microfiber towel, let it dry in the microfiber towel. It'll be I'd probably give it 80, 85% dry when you take it out, especially if you got two of them. Take it out and then you're good to go and you don't have to be under no dryer. You don't have to do all these different things, condition, all that thing of the past. Just wash your hair, microfiber towel, get out, go. Love it. Um, oh, and, and then some people talk about the Rev Air, like, cause it's really expensive. Don't use the Rev Air. It, if it's too expensive, because it, honestly, if I had to buy another one right now, I wouldn't do it. That's just me personally. I would get two microfiber towels and I would rotate them out. That's what I've been doing when I'm not using the Rev Air. But I love it. I got it already, so I'm going to use it. Um, what else? Oh, my, uh, my ends. So a lot of people ask me, how's my hair locked so fast? Uh, probably because I've been washing it for one. And then two, I wanted to kind of show on the ends of my hair. Let me move my mic and move up on the ends of my hair. As you can see, I got like these little balls. So this is what happens when your hair is locking. You get these balls over time. And that's a good thing. A lot of people, they want to cut them off. Well, if you cut them off, that's totally your choice, but you will end up kind of stopping the locking process i actually want my hair to lock and what i ended up finding was at one point i wanted like a more cleaner appearance so i was like uh not cutting off the balls but like any of the stray hairs i would kind of sometimes cut them off instead what i've been doing recently is taking those hairs can y'all see there we go so there's like those little hairs on the ends I would just spray a little rose water, aloe vera water, whatever it is I have. And I've been taking those hairs, you see it? And I would wrap those hairs back around 
the bottom of the lock. Why am I doing that instead of cutting it? Well, my lock at the end is going to end up being more blunt and thicker. So I just did it just now. And this is what it ends up looking like. Now I've just been doing this whenever I run my hands through my hair and I feel now I've done most of this side of my head because that takes a while y'all. This side, I still got a lot to do. Here's one right here. This will be a good one. If I see one, I just, I'm going to do it again. So let me show y'all again up close. You see the hairs on the very end. I don't want to cut it off. So I'm just going to, again, kind of stretch it out, see what we're working with. Because you can see here, it's already trying to kind of lock into itself. Well, let's help it out. Take the hair and you twist it upward. So I'm taking the, lock, the stray hair and I'm just turning my actual lock, but I'm twisting the stray hair up the lock. And then I just kept turning it. And then when I'm done, I just kind of do this because I want it to get stuck in there. Now I have tested this out. The hairs that I've done on this side, I have washed my hair since I did that to most of these ends. Because like I said, I did this side first. What I noticed is the hair did not come out at the bottom. It stayed kind of in that butted kind of state. If I did get any hairs that kind of came out, it wasn't a lot. The reason why I also did that is because when I run my hands through my hair, a lot of my locks at the ends were kind of getting stuck to each other because of those stray hairs. And it don't do that no more on this side. I still got to do this side though. So I like that because now I'm not having that problem. Now, if you don't, if you don't want, um, if you want your ends to be curly, don't do what I just said. You're going to end up probably locking your hair faster. And I know a lot of people want their micro locks to have curly ends. I don't care about my ends being curly, but there are some at the top. They just not ready yet. So if you wonder why do I still have curly ends up here, I can't wrap this around nothing because some of my locks just ain't, they're just not like that yet in the back. I mean, like how they are in the back. I can't wrap it around. It's going to come right loose. You see? It's going to come loose. So I don't even bother these ones because they're just not going to do it. I also have two hair textures, maybe three in my head, which is why the top is still so curly. The bottom is where you see a lot of my locks like locked and sealed. That's what we'll call it for the sake of this video and for people that recognize that terminology. My locks are sealed on some of these ends and they're not sealed here because I have two curl patterns. Now, a lot of people have that. So I leave that alone. I actually like it though. It's, it's kind of like a weird thing. <laughs> um, two textures of hair kind of going on here, but I think it kind of gives me like a poofy look up here, but then kind of like a thick look at the bottom and it just kind of works. So let's see, what else, what else, what else? So we went over retie, oh, retie schedule. As you guys know, I retie my locks every two months. Yes, and if I could go further, I would, but it would just not be a good idea for me personally to go any further than two months of me retying my micro locks. I'm absolutely not doing that because my hair just grows too much and I'm gonna be here for days if I try to go like three months. I don't even know how people do it. I've seen someone do that before. I just can't do that. I'm trying to keep it healthy. So I think two months is a good stretch for me, but you definitely for your lock journey have to go based off of what your hair is okay with. I kind of had to see how far I could push this for me. Um, and this just works. I think my hair grows within the lock, so I don't really have much problem. Okay. So reties. <laughs> Um, wash day. What else? Is there anything I didn't cover in this lock update? Length. I have a lot of length. Um, we went over length, build up. Am I missing anything, y'all? Do y'all have any questions in the chat about my locks or the lock journey? Because I, I always feel like I'm missing something. 
Um, I don't really use a lot of products still, y'all. That's another thing, products. This is actually not this one. This is the glycerin one. Oh, actually, since I have these both in my hand, these are these are both from the same brand. But let me tell you what the difference is. This is the rose water uh, from Heritage Store. Because people ask me, what am I spraying my hair with? This or aloe vera spray. But there is also the glycerin. <laughs> Why are you focusing? Anyway, there's also the glycerin rose water one too. Um, I don't really like to use this one in my locks. And let me explain what the difference is. This one is going to feel like water to me. This is what that feels like. This one right here. When you spray this in your hair, you get like this sticky feeling. That's because it has glycerin in it. And if you don't know anything about glycerin, it is used in a lot of hair products, a lot of beauty products, because it gives a nice uh, moisturizing feeling. But if you spray it in your locks, it can give you kind of a sticky feeling. I personally don't prefer that. Uh, it's also a humectant, which is good for some people's hair. Um, whenever... I don't have this one. I may use a little bit of this. I probably honestly would prefer distilled water over this because I don't really like that sticky feeling. It's just me. Oops. It's just me. So this is the one I like to use, the regular Heritage Store Rose Water. And this one, the reason why I have this here is because I use this on my face because this is a hydrating face mist. That's what it says. Hydrating face mist. This one right here is also a refreshing face mist. So I like the refreshing for my hair. I'm not really into the sticky feeling. Oh, Diamond has something here. Let's see what you say. Diamond Doll says, I'm still in the starter lock phase or stage. So my reties are every four weeks. Hope that's not too long. I don't think so. I think whatever your loctician and, uh, and you think is a good time, especially like your loctician if you have one. I think that's what you should go off of because if they're the ones doing the work, <laughs> if they're the ones doing the work for your locks, I think you should go off of what they recommend for you for sure. I would probably get fired by some locticians if I had a loctician because I would be that complicated client probably. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's good because four weeks is two weeks, uh, two months. So Oh, sorry. I said four. Eight weeks. Okay, got you. Yeah, eight weeks is what I meant to say. I don't know why I said four. Yeah, eight weeks to me, that's still two months. So you're still, I think, good because that's around two months, which is a good time to me. Um, When I first started, though, I was retying my hair every four weeks because my merging at the roots, it was so bad, y'all. It was so freaking bad. I had no choice. Oh, also my rotation. I want to talk about the rotation. I still use to this day a three-point rotation for my locks. Have it switched up. Uh, I might do every now and then a four-point rotation on the edges if I really need them to like hold, but I don't even have to do that anymore. Throughout my whole head, it's a three-point. It's not complicated to do a three-point rotation, so... If you're uh, wondering how to do it, I have a lot of videos up on my channel displaying exactly how I do it step by step. Diamond Doll says, I'm DIY, no loctician. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, even better. Yeah, I think if it's working for you, that's good. I would just keep doing whatever is working for you. But are you in the, you said you're in the starter lock phase though. How, how many months in are you? Because I... Because I remember how that was for me in the beginning stages. I don't think I could have got away with it. I'm happy that you can, though. But I'm just curious. I wish I could have not. <laughs> I wish I could have did eight weeks in the very beginning stage. Maybe at like month five. I probably didn't have to do it so much. But yeah. Um, let me see. What else, y'all? Okay, so we talked about products. Length. Can we do a length check? Let's do that. Hold on, Diamond. I'm about to get, I'm about to do a quick length check. I'm going to have to duck down to do this. Okay. Move them.
my mic went out, y'all. So let's do the side. So this is what the side is looking like. I hope y'all can see that. <laughs> All right. So, we went. <laughs> Get this. Are we collarbone? Actually, hold on. Are we? We're collarbone. We are collarbone, y'all. Oh, I didn't even notice. I think time just flew by. Okay, so we're past collarbone for sure. We're hanging past collarbone because this is my collar. Wow, where did the time go? Okay, I feel like it was not even long ago that my hair was like here. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so definitely past collarbone, maybe an inch or two after collarbone. And that's great. Um, let me see. Diamond says, mine merge too, but I don't want thinning. So maybe I'll just do six weeks. Yeah, I, I was worried about that too. If your locks are thicker though, I don't think it will be such a problem. But I do think if you have like thinner locks, you have to get like the reties a lot more than somebody who has thicker locks. Luckily for me, you know, my locks seem to be thicker in some areas, so I don't really have that that issue. But in some areas, I have to retie them like after I wash them enough times because they're just so small. Let's see. I finished installing like early December. Your hair is growing. Thank you thank you thank you i appreciate that and early december that was like well wait you saying like last year you are like starter starter phase whoa <laughs> you're man you're blessed to be able to go eight weeks because i'm telling you i couldn't do it not because i didn't want to it's just i couldn't do it what what rotation are you using by the way interested to know but yep y'all um I was about to say something and I got distracted. So, so we're 21 months in. This is the length. We don't have any merging anymore. We don't have any of those problems we used to have. What else has changed for me? Cutting. <laughs> I was trying to remember what it was. I've been cutting my hair. Okay, that's what I want to talk about. It is a controversial topic. And I even got a few dislikes on the video where I was showing I was cutting my locks. And I put it in some of my videos that I've been cutting, trimming, taking razors to my locks. And a lot of people have been. I showed that 
No sound? Do I have no sound? No sound? Am I? Uh oh. Uh oh. Can y'all hear me? I don't want to talk too much. What happened with this? Hold on. Somebody in the chat, let me know if y'all can hear me. Mic check one, two, one, two. Can y'all hear me? Let me see. Can y'all hear me now? No? Y'all must be able to hear me because Diamond Doll is, is writing me. Diamond, can y'all hear me? Okay, sound is back. Okay. Thank you guys for letting me know. I can't stand when my mic goes out. That's so annoying. Okay. Let me go back here. Diamond Doll says, I made uh, I made mine smaller, but I have like 4B, 4C here. Okay. So your hair is probably going to end up locking really quick too. It's going to end up locking quick which is good. I'm I'm excited to hear about your lock journey. I want to get some up. Do you have a, are you uh like uh going to record it or anything, taking pictures? I like to watch people's new lock journeys. I just think it's so interesting to watch. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Diamond says, that's why they are marrying <laughs> due to water. Uh, oh God, I should put my glasses on. That's why they are marrying, LOL, due to texture plus water. I was doing four point, but I want more fluffy. So I did three point rotation on the four, on the, not 14th, on the 17th of this month. Okay, so you switched. What made you switch though? Sound is back on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Shanice. And to, okay, perfect. Okay, so the cutting of the locks. I'm going to keep cutting my locks, y'all. Oh, after you said there was controversy, you went out. So y'all didn't hear me. Y'all didn't hear me say anything about, okay. I was saying, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I was saying that I'm going to probably uh, get more controversy because I like to cut my locks. And I just have this thing of whenever I see a long lock, I just take scissors and I snip it. Sometimes I put it in the videos if I'm doing like a video involving my hair. But a lot of times this sort of action happens off camera. I just have these impulsive times where I'm just like, this lock is too long and I just cut it and I just don't even think twice about it. And the next thing I know, the same lock that I just cut, it grew like a weed and it's back and I'm out. I'm back cutting it again. And a lot of people are like, stop cutting your locks. Oh, hair grows at different speeds, whatever, whatever. Like, I understand where everyone is coming from. But I don't want certain locks looking how they look. And I just cut them off. And that's just that. I don't have any, I don't know what the problem is. I'm like, it's just hair. But a lot of people are so upset whenever I cut my locks. They go like dislike the videos and stuff. And I just don't get it. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know, when you make media content, you have to kind of take the good with the bad. You're going to have people that like your stuff and don't like your stuff. But I just kind of laugh because I'm like, it's just hair. I'm like, it's okay. It's going to grow back. And it grows back like a weed. That's what people don't get is that it's just growing so fast. That's why I keep cutting it off. And uh, I, I think that I will be one of those people. I just want to put it out there that let my locks grow to their full potential. I do think I will do that. I'm not trying to see, look, this is what I'm talking about. That's extra long. But anyway, um, I, I do think I want to see how long my hair can grow, but I do think as it's growing, I will trim it if I just think some are growing too fast. <laughs> so yeah, let me see. Uh, yeah, I have two that grow two inches longer than the rest and I snip them right down, right? I don't know what, like, I didn't think this was going to be a thing, but now that I think about it, you probably had, um, when you had loose natural hair, when your hair used to grow, I can almost guarantee that that, that area used to grow faster than the rest of your hair. Cause I noticed that with my locks, that area right there on the edge of my hair, I have always had longer edges, like right on the, when I say edges, I mean like this side here. This right here has always grown faster than the rest. 
and it's doing the same thing with my locks, but it's way more pronounced than I am used to. <laughs> Let me see. Shanice says, once mine matures, I will be cutting too. Yeah, I, that's a good point, Shanice. I'm glad you brought that up. I actually did not cut my locks until that until they started to mature. I had the itch though to do it probably a year in because the front of my hair was stupid long and I wanted to and I actually did take a razor to it and I just kind of feathered it because I didn't want to do like a blunt cut because I felt it would unravel because look they're not even like fully locked at this point so imagine <laughs> when I feathered it how like loose it was but I did it anyway because I just was like if it unravels, it unravels. I'll just be here twisting it back up or whatever till it locks. But I did it anyway. And uh, I don't regret it. Because I like the way that it framed my face a lot better. But y'all, it started growing. So now it's like my face isn't really framed. Oh, that's another thing I want to talk about. I kind of did layers. Can you see? So right around like my cheek area, I literally took a razor and I just was like, <laughs> la 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 and I just was looking at my face and I pulled my hair back and I just went like this according to like where my cheekbones were because that's how I like my hair to fall because when you do this it gives you like a little you know you don't get that you don't get the layered effect if you just have it all one length it'll just be really long and I like that so I didn't want to, um, I didn't want it to all be the same length. I wanted to have little dimension. You see, it gives you that layered effect because it's feathered. And I usually wear my hair to the side. I do side parts. So yeah, let me see. Kendall says, yep, my back was the longest. I always looked like I had a mullet. <laughs> no, <laughs> a mullet. That's actually... But you know what? I like the mullet look. I Have y'all been seeing people with mullets lately? Because I've been seeing that. I think it's kind of cool. You know, that's different. I kind of feel like everybody's hair grows differently. But I like the bob, the bob uh, looking locks. Did y'all hear my dog? She just came in here growling. Um, I like the ones that have like the cuts. And it kind of goes into a natural bob. Mine did that, but then the front was too long. So that's why I ended up cutting it. But yeah, y'all, that is my 21-month uh, lock update. Y'all, it's been such a long time. If y'all have any more questions before I leave on this 21-month lock update, let me know. It's been a long 21 months, y'all. Things have changed. Um... <laughs> I'm like, whose hair is this at this point? I don't even know. I'm excited to see what we look like in exactly two years, which will be June 6, 2024. Hold on. Hmm. Now I have a new idea to get that shape. Yeah. What's your what's the idea? You gonna cut it in a bob or or what? Oh, I didn't bring you up. Sorry, Kendall. Hold on. I have I have the itch right now. Hold on, let me bring Shanice up. I have the itch right now, and I'm only close to five months in. It's budding now, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Your time is going to come, Shanice. Your time is going to come, but when it comes... Look, I, I don't even know if I should say this, because somebody probably be like, you shouldn't tell people to uh, cut their locks when they're five months in. But I just remember my energy. People were telling me I shouldn't do a lot of things. You shouldn't secure the loose hairs in your hair. You should just enjoy the process. I'm like, as if I'm not. I'm just doing it how I want to do it. I love the process, um, but if you, I just kind of feel like everybody's journey is so unique. And this is how we get these stories about this person did this and this person did that. If we all did the same thing, we wouldn't have all these different journeys to watch and to learn from. And I'm like... But what I will say, Shanice, make sure your hair is locked or you are prepared for it to unravel if it's not locked and how you may have to handle that if it is not in that stage yet. You know, if you're prepared and you're like, whatever, kind of like how I think a lot of people are like, oh, whatever, it just, it just is what it is. And you're prepared to face the consequence or the reward 
I say do it, but if you're not, don't do it. <laughs> I say if you really want to make sure um, that it's locked, locked, give it a year, maybe two. Because <laughs> I just showed you the hair in my front is not locked. And, you know, depending on your texture, it could be a whole nother thing. So, <laughs> but I, I condone this behavior, though. I'm a bad influence on some stuff. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Uh, let me see. Kendall says the feathering you did with the razor. Look, I'm telling you, it worked. It it really did. Now, would these have been locked already? I don't know. Don't know. But to be totally honest with you, Kendall, I don't think they would have been locked because my hair texture in the front is just too loose. It just is taking forever. Like, I'm just starting to get some in the front that are starting to bud. And they're like not even, it's not even that many of them. So, yeah, the feather thing, I absolutely love the idea. <laughs> but a lot of people tried to talk me out of it. They were like, no, don't cut your locks. They're going to unravel. But you see, this is what happened. That's the feather. When you do the feather thing, that's what happens. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Kendall says, I started securing loose hair once I saw one of your videos. And it's the best thing I could have done. I'm glad that helped you out. I'm so glad that was helpful. Because I got held for that, too. I'm telling you, people, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you just got to be ready whenever you have social media presence for whatever. But people were like, no, you shouldn't. Just enjoy the journey. And well, I'm like, I am. I just wanted to secure the hair. Because <laughs> it does help when you're running your hands through your hair. Even if you only do it, even if you only do it every now and then, you don't have to do it all the time. But what I find is when my hair is like really getting stuck together, if I do this and all these little tiny, you see this, there's a, there's hairs getting stuck to each other. If I just twist them up, they won't get stuck like this. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to always be doing it all the time. But if I find, Hey, this one got a lot of stray hairs, I just take it and twist it right back in. And then when I'm kind of combing through my hand, um, my hair with my hands, they're not, it's not happening anymore. And I kind of feel like, wouldn't that be better than just letting it be like getting caught all the time? Cause it's not saying I don't love frizz. Cause everybody should know by now that I absolutely love frizzy locks. It's just, if it's getting so bad, I might have to secure some ears, you know, and it is what it is. There's nothing wrong with that either. Let me see. I'm not, oh, sh you're not, you're not what, Shanice? You're not going to cut it if it's not, I think you're saying you're not going to cut it if it's not um time for you to cut it because of your texture, which is good. <laughs> Kendall says, mine too, half uh, locks, half curly ends. Yeah, it's just, how long, are, how long have you been locked, Kendall? Yeah, it's just, it just comes with the territory, I guess, having these multiple textures in your hair. But it gives it such dimension, though, because the bottom, I'm glad that the bottom is not like that, because I probably would try to snip it. Look, I just found one that I want to wrap up. But I, yeah, I probably want to snip them. But because it's at the top and it's kind of feathered, it doesn't bother me. I have a loose curl pattern and just stopped um, and it just stopped unraveling. Dang. I'm glad it stopped unraveling, though, because that's like the worst part It's the unraveling. Oh, my gosh. Because then you got to go back and fix it. Ooh. But I kind of do wish that the top would lock up a little bit. But I'm in no rush, to be totally honest, because I'm never going to be able to come back to this stage again. I remember like it was yesterday when I felt like my ends were kind of scraggly looking and thin and they were loose kind of looking like this and then the next thing i knew i looked up and then everything was kind of budding and then it just looked really full so i'm just going to enjoy the last little bit of you know curl pattern i have going on here because i don't think it's going to last very much longer i i personally think i might have maybe a year or two what y'all think i think probably a year I, these probably won't be here no more, but they're so loose. It definitely could be, definitely could be, but I don't know. Let me see who else we got. Kendall says two years, three. Oh yeah. Yours is like right after uh, my birthday kind of. And yes, I love them. 
dang, you've been in the game for a minute. You OG. Well, congratulations to you because wait, wasn't that just, oh yeah, that was like a few days ago. So you just had a lock anniversary. Yeah. Okay. I love to see it. But yeah, y'all, that is my hair. Um, that is what has been going on. I know I haven't done an update in so long, so it's kind of exciting to do this one live because I've never done that before. And hopefully I do. Y'all let me know in the comments in the replay. Let me know what other lock videos would y'all like to see me do. I was thinking to do like a style video live. I don't know. What do y'all think? I can throw up some styles real quick. Um, but now that my hair is getting longer, I wanted to kind of, I even thought about doing a side-by-side uh, -side of like my old video where I was showing my lock styles and then showing what they look like now that my hair is clearly longer <laughs> and different looking. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments or on the replay. Comment, let me know uh, what kind of content y'all want to see from me next. I do have a vlog coming out soon. It will probably, it will be on like my uh, weight journey. I won't even say weight loss journey anymore. I will say my weight journey because we have had some up and ups and downs since December, but I've been recording the whole process and I'm really excited to show what has happened. So that's going to be coming up here soon, very soon. But yes, y'all, thank you all for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications for any future videos. And until next time, thank you all for watching. Peace and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.